Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and welcome to another episode of my Animation Diaries. Uh, in this diary episode, I'm going to run you through some of the features of my custom character for Crazy Talk Animator 3, which is this uh, Desert Scavenger Ray parody character I've been working on for the last few weeks. Uh, obviously it's a Star Wars parody character and I've given her the name of Ma Ray Su uh, just as a play on some of the criticism the character got uh, when she first appeared in Star Wars as uh, The Force Awakens. Anyway, the character is finished now and uh, I'll just run you through some of the features that are included with her if you're thinking about maybe purchasing her from my uh, Realist, Real Illusion Marketplace store. So up on the screen here I have a short animation that I created uh, for the demonstration animation that you can see on the store. So this is just a section of it. Uh, all she does is pretty much stands there for a bit. Uh, the background's moving because uh, on the record screen there's a zoom out of the camera. She steps forward, put the weapon on the back, pulls out the lightsaber and runs off. And that's pretty much it for this section. Uh, but within that it pretty much uses a lot of the features of the character. Uh, so the first thing to note is that the character included with the character when you buy it is her lightsaber which you can see I've got hanging on her belt there and uh, later on you can see is the on version of the lightsaber there and as well her quarter staff and there's also this robe prop here I'll just move so that you can see what that looks like. That's the robe prop and the character will work completely fine and look alright without that prop. As you can see on here I've drawn it so that it looks like her robe just wraps around the back of her leg. Uh, but if you want to have these extra details added to her uh, then I've included that in and the robe is just a spine actor so if I go to the 2D motion editor here you see it's got six bones that run down it and you can apply any sort of spine animation to it. Uh, to do the animation you see here where it's just blowing in the wind that's just using a pre-existing uh, blowing in the wind motion that I think is actually included with it's either in one of the packs or with just version 3 of Crazy Talk Animator anyway it's just a soft wind motion you just apply that and loop it around and that thing will look like it's blowing in the wind for as long as you need it to uh, the robe itself you just link to her thigh so that uh, when she moves around, you see when she takes a step here, it just follows her leg, you don't have to do anything else. Just keep the looping animation going. But you can also uh, move that around while it's attached to her leg as well. Something else that's included is that... Um, I've included hand props that are separate from the character. Uh, this hand here is actually part of the character rig, so that if you want her to hold her lightsaber or quarter staff, uh, you just go into the hand movements and you see there's or hand sprites, and you see there's two hands here, there's one that I've used here which makes it look as if her hand's going behind the prop and there's this one here which goes in front but you'll see here 
that that isn't actually in front of her or in front of the weapon. And if the layering of this character makes it impossible for that to go in front of the weapon, I've included these two hands as separate props. So if I go into props here, go to custom, and you see I've got left hand props here. I'll bring one out onto the stage. So you've got these two props. Say if I needed that hand to be in front of that, and the layering wouldn't allow it, all I do is select the character, change her hand to the other sprite where her hand's in front, and then I'd get this sprite here, and you'll see if I go into the sprite editor for this, there's the two hands in there so you can swap between them, and there's a prop for both her left and right hand, but we just put that in here, attempt to match it up and bring it in front of that, match up the sizing to her actual hand, And then you just link that hand to a hand bone, which I might have to uh, go back and just move that out of the way to do the actual linking part. So we link it to a hand bone, and you see now. She looks like she's holding that weapon, but wherever she moves her hand, it should stay in front. You might have to adjust it on certain frames just to bring it back in front, depending on the layering. But you'll see her hand just follows that. She's holding onto it. It makes it nice and easy if you want hand to appear in front or behind of the weapon and the um, layering of the character is preventing you from doing that. You've got these extra hand props in here that can facilitate that. I think the final feature that I need to touch on is just her head sprite. You see here she's got this version of her head that has the mask and all the head scarves that she wears but if you want to To not be wearing that, you go into the face sprites and you see she's got an extra sprite for the face here. You just click on that and that removes her mask and head scarves and you've got a version of her uh, more typical of how she is throughout the whole film. And again, this will just nicely animate. You don't have to do any more than that. But beyond that, everything else should work pretty well uh, with uh, Crazy Talk Animator 3's features. You can use face puppeting on her. Uh, she works relatively well with most of the built-in motions. Uh, she's got all the mouth sprites that you need to do lip syncing and all the eyes that you need for various expressions. Uh, so there you go, I think that's all I need to tell you about her. Uh, if you need a desert scavenger character for your next animation, uh, this one could quite well be what you need. So, until next diary, thanks for watching.